welcome to blackmoney.com. This episode is about SafeLedger, a software that uses AES-256 and a salted hash to store your crypto recovery info offline. Seed phrases, passwords, private keys, and whatever tidbits about your favorite coin can be stored securely. The SafeLedger USB device comes pre-installed and compatible with both Mac and PC operating systems, but unfortunately, activation of the download version is Windows only. Today I'm going to show you how to get it up and running on a Mac and keep it that way. This video will be broken up into two sections. The first section will cover necessary downloads and setting up the VM, and the second will cover up installing and setting up SafeLedger on your own USB drive. First the downloads. To get started, let's go to safeledger.tech and scroll until you see the SafeLedger download banner. Click download, then click buy it now on the following screen. Once your billing information is entered and processed, you will be presented with a download link. If you close the window by accident, or you need to download the software again in the future, refer to the download email from SafeLedger. Click download and move the zip file to a USB drive. It's important that you do not unzip the file until it's mounted in the VM. Now eject the USB drive, but do not remove the device from your USB port. Let's move on to virtualbox.org. Click the download banner to get the latest bill. Then click OS X host to download the VirtualBox platform package. We're also going to need to download the VirtualBox extension pack. Click on all platforms to do so. We're going to need a 64-bit Windows operating system to run SafeLedger. Instead of adding more steps with the complete Windows install, let's download a pre-installed VM from Microsoft's Developers Tool page. Click on Download VMs. Under Virtual Machine, select the Microsoft Edge build. Then select VirtualBox Platform. Now click on Downloads. This file is about 4.5 gigs and can download in the background while you work on other things. Let's move on to VM. Go to the Downloads folder and click the VirtualBox DMG. Once mounted, double click the VirtualBox package to begin installation. Click Continue twice and then click Install. Enter your admin password to begin installation. Remember, your computer's processing capabilities will determine the speed of your installation. Click close and move the installer to trash. We no longer need this DMG, so we can eject it. Use shortcut Command E or right click to eject. Now let's go back to the downloads folder and double click to install the extension pack. Click install or reinstall in my case. Read the license agreement and then click I agree. Enter your admin password to continue installation. Click OK. Our VirtualBox installation is complete, but we need an operating system. Let's go back to the Downloads folder and double click our pre installed Microsoft VM build. This should automatically open up VirtualBox. Click Import. This install may take some time. Once complete, Let's change the name of our VM to something associated with its purpose. How about SafeLedger? Feel free to go through the settings, but only a few things need to be changed. First, let's make sure we have enough RAM allocated to the VM. Also, I'm going to dedicate more cores to the VM for smoother performance. This might not be an option for you, but take advantage if you can. We also need to enable the bi-directional clipboard feature. And last, let's make sure we enable the USB controller. Click OK and save the settings. Then click Start to launch the VM. We now have a fully functional 64-bit Windows Virtual Machine. This concludes part one of our Safe Ledger Mac tutorial. Click the link to begin part two.